All right, so I have a Mazda 3 2012 key fob here. It works great, but the battery's out. I'm going to go through exactly how I went about replacing it. The Mazda 3 2012 key fob takes a CR1620 button battery. I picked this one up for a buck forty-four at a local hardware store. Inside of the key fob, there is a small push tab here, so you could use a flathead screwdriver and just push on the push tab. That will release this piece from this piece. Once we've done that, we've released the forward casing, and it should slide right off as shown. The tab that we looked at was right at the tip of my thumb. A small little tab there to keep this locked. Separate the top half of this part of the key fob from the bottom. So as you can see, I've pried the top off. Now, the first thing that I did to separate this is to press two tabs. Tab one is right here, and tab two is right here. And you'll press until you hear a click on both of these two tabs. Once the tabs are complete, you can use a screwdriver and move down with the flathead until you pry off the entire top portion on both sides. Once complete, you'll have the top of your key fob with all the buttons on the left and the battery compartment on the right. Notice that this is a key fob compartment and I'm holding the buttons into place, but they're loose fit. This is your 1620 battery. So now that this is open, you can see there's a giant plus there. So you want to install the battery positive side first. And you push it in. And there's two snap tabs on the sides and a third one on the front. And there it is, clicked in. Now, of course, you want to align the battery clip on the circuit board with the battery. That's how you know you're back in the right direction. I recommend putting the back side down as shown and slowly snapping it back into place. And there you hear. Nicely click back in. And you just heard the car lock and honk. So we know that this works. Now we're going to put the front back on and call it a day. So just as before, we're going to take this front portion with a mechanical key on it. And we're going to take it and slide it back in. And then give it a simple click. And there you have it. There's how to replace your key fob battery in a Mazda 3. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.